Well, hello, everybody. I wonder, what is Tiffany Henniard up to these days? Actually, I don't have to wonder. I just, special shout out to Paint Books Lessons. You got the best content, baby. Nobody does better investigations on YouTube than you. So, Tiffany Henniard, what's the problem, baby? I made some calls to the village of Dalton. Yes, I did. I told them, do not let your ass get away with a damn thing. You got nerve. Weren't you stealing out of cars, Tiffany Henyard? Yes, you were. You were in prison, bitch. I know about you. I looked you up. You were breaking into people's cars. And now you're breaking into the village, in a township. How do you have two jobs, two government jobs? Let me explain something to you, Tiffany Henyard. It's not because you're a single black woman or mother. That has nothing to do with you stealing. Why do you need to steal? You got two jobs. You can't take care of your baby. Where's your baby daddy at? How come he can't give you some child support, sweetheart? The government is not your uh, child support system. Now, I know that you fired that fire chief, but he already has a lawyer. He's already sued you. He's getting his job back. Mm, that's so sad. And then all those officers that you had on the payroll getting all that overtime, they're going to be out of jobs, too. See how the power of people waking up? All they got to do is show up and put y'all to the carpet. Hold your feet to the fire. It must burn. Now, Tiffany, I know you've seen my video. Did you like my blonde wig I had on the other day? I call that the Tiff the Stiff wig. Because, Lord knows, honey, you just want some new weed. Get your ass up out of here. You best get on Amazon like I did and get you a wig, bitch. Only $40. Come on, you that broke? <laughs> you got nerve call somebody the devil. Who the hell you think you are, demon? Okay? You ain't no good spirit. If you were a good spirit, you wouldn't have two jobs and still be stealing. Are you that broke? I mean, I see Pookies and Ray Rays every day getting their ass on a motherfucking airplane with Spirit Airlines and bitch, you can't get yourself your own airline ticket? God damn you stupid. I see why your ass is about to be out of two jobs. <laughs> you can't even keep one job. You're about to lose both. You cannot work 80 hours in a week. So how are you even finessing a city in a town shit who put you up are you whose payroll are you on sweetheart let's see chicago you must jesse jackson must be in your back pocket or al sharpton will he need a bucket of chicken too i swear y'all are terrible and i like how people are rising up and getting your asses out of office you don't deserve taxpayer money it's not your money that's what y'all fail to realize. You better call your uh, boss chicks in uh, Fulton County, Georgia, because their asses is next. What, you and Fannie Mae be sitting around trying to see how y'all can finesse money out of people? God damn y'all stupid. You have a good government job. Why aren't you happy? You must need to be on some damn welfare and food stamps for you to get a buy vow and get a clue, dummy. Go find your baby daddy and make him pay child support. You probably don't even know where he at. He didn't left you because you call yourself a, a super city, a super mayor. Child, please. Watch me superman that hoe. Now watch me you. Now watch me you. Girl, get your ass the hell up out of the township. For them people, get your ass. I hope they get you and get you good. Take your paycheck. Garnish your ass. Put a, a lien on your property. You won't have no house. It's going to happen. They're already doing it. Nobody needs to wait on the FBI. Everybody knows I was already at the FBI building again protesting them. What could they do? Nothing. I said, y'all are worthless. I, I'd do a better job than the FBI, please. I would have all y'all asses in jail together in one day across the country. <laughs> all I got to do is go on YouTube. Y'all so stupid. Go on YouTube. I find out who's stealing what, who's doing what. You know you done fucked up. Tiffany. So what happened to the village of Dalton? Did they sue your behind? Mm. How, why are you in Vegas? You know, I was just in Vegas a few months ago. And the thing about Vegas, there's no business for the village of Dalton out there. So you must need some free meals. Is that what it is? You need a free airline ticket? Honey, call me up. I get you one off Priceline. God damn, you that broke? You got to steal more money? You stealing from two different jurisdictions. How broke can you be? Good Lord. And we're not going to talk about your little home inspector friend who was a sex offender. Why would you hire him to go in people's houses? You must be one too. Mm. They going to get you in jail. You must not know what happens to you type of idiots in jail, but I, I do. 
And let's see, then a, a person has to sue for a, a, an assault, a sexual assault that your people did and drug that woman? Good Lord, y'all are foul. Well, your time has come, baby. I don't think you realize that, you know, you can't be doing that to people. And you certainly can't be doing that to your own people. What I hate worse, I expect everybody else going to be racist. I'm ready for it. But when it's your own people stealing from you and your own, nah, that's even worse. That makes it to be that you are a sellout, a coon, nothing. Ain't nobody going to trust you. Nobody. You done found your ass a uh, ticket in the welfare line, baby. You best hurry up because Biden going to cut your food stamps, honey. Mm, mm, mm. You better call Sleepy Joe, see if he can help you. If he can come to the rescue, he can. I was at the White House the other day. He couldn't even come out the house. <laughs> and everybody loved me trolling at the White House. They cheered me on. They cheered me on at the FBI building. I get cheered on everywhere I go to come troll you stupid bitches. And then I get to read online about how other people are standing up to y'all. It's about damn time. Ain't no way I'm going to let somebody steal from me and get away with it. So you sitting up there disrespecting your elders. Don't you know in the black community, rule number one, do not disrespect your elders, baby. You wasn't raised right, clearly. I sure would like to know, where is your mama and your daddy? Because they should have raised you better to not be out here breaking in cars. What you breaking in cars for? What was you hoping to get out of a car, dummy? And now you stealing from the government. So how did you get from jail to that job? You had to have known somebody. You had to have known somebody in a uh, in a back alley, in a car, with your head between their laps. That's the only way you got that job. Get your ass up out of here. Mm. Tiffany Hager. <laughs> How's life going for you? Not well. Good. Good. And then you got nerve to bring your child into this. Your child ain't got nothing to do with you stealing. I can only imagine how embarrassed your child must be to have to go to school and hear their mama is on stealing from everybody. Good Lord. Y'all be ashamed of yourself, Tiffany Hager. But the Lord knows, good Lord knows, you ain't got no shame. Because mm. you ain't got no common sense. If you had common sense, you wouldn't get caught stealing. You wouldn't be stealing, number one. Number two, you wouldn't get caught. So here's some advice. Don't be a criminal. It doesn't pay. Look at all these people going to prison and jail. Mm. They're going to need y'all to put money on their books. I will not do it. And Aunt Tiffany, why are you so childish? You sitting up there with one of the elders, ripping up a picture of them kicking a picture. But you won't do that to her. You know better. You know, don't play with um, no OG mama or grandma. They put them hands on you real quick. Mm-hmm. You just loud mouth. Acting like you gonna scare somebody. But you thought you was gonna scare the whole village in the township? Just to steal their damn money? That shit don't work, baby. Ain't nobody afraid of your loud mouth ass. You got to realize that doesn't even work in jail. Ain't nobody putting up with your mouth. So now you angry. What you gonna do? Change the locks? You gonna cancel some more meetings? That's all you do is cancel. Every time they call a meeting, you canceling it. They call an investigation, you vetoing it. <laughs> Who the hell you think you are, Nino Brown? I seen your ass dressing up like Nino Brown. Talking about something, bitch, but have your money. Child, please, by the time the township and the village is done with your ass, <laughs> you might be lucky to get you a cup of coffee in jail. <laughs> <laughs> they waiting on you, baby. Mm, they waiting on Tiffany to come back to jail. Your ass going to go back in the county jail. And they waiting on you. Them bologna and cheese sandwiches. Go on and get ready to eat some bologna and cheese, bitch. <laughs> Your ass going to be in jail, honey. Mm. They should put you in two different jails at the same damn time since you got two fucking government jobs. You going to spend a night in village of Dalton jail and then go your ass to the township jail at night so everybody can troll you, the taxpayers. I will personally put a newspaper article out 
advertisement. Get your ass to the county <laughs> to there and troll this bitch until you quit. You gonna be so fed up because that's all it take. Look at you, you and your feelings. They coming for you. You don't know how to handle it. Why not just admit you was wrong and step down? You know, step off with dignity. You ain't even got no dignity. You holding on. You holding on for what? You better keep hope alive. <laughs> Your ass better keep over live, bitch, because it's over. <laughs> That's just shameful. It's just disgusting. Tiffany Hanker, I hope you enjoy getting roasted by your own constituents, because I had a blast laughing at your ass. I said, I might as well make a video <laughs> like everybody else is doing and troll you some more. Like, get out of here, you idiot. I know you don't even have GED. Can't be. How? You know what? They need to make it a law. You have to have some qualification or education to hold elected office. I mean, next thing we know, they just going to let criminals out of jail and give them jobs in the government. <laughs> they already are. <laughs> you. So, Tiffany Hanyard, are you still stealing out of people's cars? I want to know. How did people overlook that? Did they know about that when you was running for office? Probably not. Instead of you putting up billboards, <laughs> why don't you put up a billboard of your mugshot? I will find your mugshot and call some people up. Put this on a billboard, baby. <laughs> You just want some damn money. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Tiffany? Hey, you, I mean, damn. You got two jobs. You ain't satisfied. Just can't get satisfaction, can you? And you telling the people their fines are going to double. You see how all them people stood in line? <laughs> they were not doubling no fines, dummy. Any means possible. If I didn't know any better, I, I would swear that a lot of these elected officials like Tiffany Hanger, you must have a drug problem. You must owe somebody some money, because why are you stealing all this money? You make over $100,000 with both jobs. Oh, damn. Can't live within your means. Tiffany Hanker, mm. this spliff is for you. <laughs> you got smoke, bitch. <laughs> I talked about your raggedy-ass wig. I talked about everything. And it's all true. Everybody's talking about it. Go on YouTube. Everybody's talking about your ass. You stupid. Well, I don't know. And I don't care. I got one more to go fry. I gotta go get Fanny Fat Ass in Fulton County. And I heard they call uh, Natalie Hall Balls for Hall. <laughs> Y'all dumb as hell. In honor of Women's History Month, get your stupid ass up out of there. You don't deserve neither job and by the time the voters are done with you you're not gonna have a job you'll be lucky didn't they come snatch that other mayor up that was right next to you his ass in jail he can't help you who you gonna call next lori lightfoot her crazy ass out of a job too what nobody putting up with crazy ass lori lightfoot they gave Lori Lightfoot the good foot. Get a step, bitch. <coughs> Do not try to bring black women down. We got enough to deal with. We don't need you out here flossing like you a boss chick, stealing. That's not what real black women do, baby. That's not what real women do, period. So the next time you want to get your ass a job and two jobs stealing, I would advise you not to do that. Because what you forget to realize is that people are not dumb. And, you know, all the, the hearings are, you know, recorded and the media will investigate you. And then your own citizens will investigate you. And, well, damn. Special shout out to the uh, township of Thornton. They got all them mayors on your ass. You ain't going nowhere. Uh-huh. You ain't going nowhere. They got you, baby. Mm. So, well, <laughs> on to the next one.